interesting one to be b fived essentially does give castle a very comfortable lane in the top side for himself and yeah i don't know i i, I kind of liked the direction kwangdong were going in but now i'm not so sure i feel like he, uh, kt got a slightly better edge in this draft in some ways uh i like the gp pick in a theory crafting world where if you have this much control and you're going to be committing resources bottom side to get this draven ahead maybe set for some dives even potentially before rise has realm warp face up you know they picked it pretty early on and still the support pick was left to be uh picked here there is no door to be held this time from rebel but at the end of the day like this is still a very nice duo and you can see they're getting into it onto andil he is going to have to dash away and the kiting potential of this is huge bull he might have to flash out of this one as in goes hype he's not gonna get the kill though unbelievable that they got so close they were putting on such great pressure and then he took an axe to the face that's mm. maybe that's our new phrase miscalculated true true <laughs> oh look at this game dude rebel's insane i love this guy he's gonna get a kill for his team like he's like okay well bot lanes you know my 80 carries trolling i'm gonna go mid instead you know like everybody's solo coup games but actually he makes an insane play he has a stack cleaver as well so he can take out that cannon minion and they're actually looking for potentially a plate but he leaves his 80 carry high and dry yeah and to be honest i mean good capitalization here from the side of kwangdong but hype you don't have your support you can't be there arrow cooldown this up for some other big plays okay rebel uh, they're actually trying to fight this nice knock up from rebel but you cannot fight when you're this far behind now facey's getting in there we did see the gp ultimate on top of everything else so that's something you mentioned in the draft as well actually helping in that bottom lane fight they didn't even necessarily need it to kill the braum but it certainly made things a little bit quicker and they got a free kill out of it Ash wait, power uh, starts to come up, and as the lead wanes, then Gangplank comes in. If he survives the pressure, it's like, okay, if Hanbuck comes top, bottom does better. If Hanbuck stays bottom, then Ilma stays even, in this case, even ahead in CS. And oh, Andal's coming up for the roam. Castle in trouble. Oh, no. Yeah, the Castle, he is going to flash out of this one. Gets a little bit body blocked by his own minions, and then Andil just puts on the moves. Very nice flash play to get on in there and secure the kill. Probably didn't even need it, but... You know, just wanted to make sure that's a very fast Sage Rocks. He doesn't get away. To get too excited, you know, Kwangdong maybe learning from game two. They're like, oh, okay, that is a tanky guy. Our coach said to not all in onto the tanky guy. Um, they learned that from game two, and they have brought that into game three. KT. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to commit to this, though. I don't think they knew he was there in the push, but now they know. As the Ash Arrow hits him, I think they were going for Cleaver with that one, but it's a uh, win's a win. They'll yeah. take the pike instead of the Ari. That's totally fine. Accidentally succeeding KT Rollster. see what he did there. There's a Draven in the game. Uh, okay, Ash, <laughs> he is going to have to flash away. And now Bully, he's getting teleported on. KT looking to turn this game around as Castle is incredibly strong at this point in time. He is going to dunk on the pike once again. There are a lot of members of Kwangdong now running into this lane. The arrow is going to go wide, but actually zones Draven away from the rest of his team. And now Hanbok comes down here. They got the Rise porting in as well. Straight into this one, flashes behind them, picks up another kill. Ilma. And all of a sudden, this game is opened wide open. Ilma's like, no minions for a while, no minions for a while. Try me, try me. Uh, they will. Dead. Flashes the uh, pull. Doesn't matter. Or uh, does it? <laughs> Ilama against the world. Yeah, against literally five members. Literally against five members. Okay, I have my I have my kick. I got this, and yeah, he did get it. And that was way harder than it had to be, but they do finally get him, and Castle's going to have to pay the price for that one, alongside of Hanbach, who did die in the end. So the shutdown goes to the Ari, and we are just full challengers here, Wolf. Ooh, what if the analyst did play-by-play -play kind of thing? I love play by Wolf. Ilma. Yeah. Well... Castle looks like he might be dead. He's trying to uh, trade this one back. He does have the Gore Drinker now, but unfortunately just a little bit too much CC uh, with the Pike and all that good stuff. So nice. A potential to flank with this Aatrox. Castle's actually going to grab this Crab, which is pretty huge for his movement speed and the ability to, to get into the back line. No vision, though. Don't walk too far forward, Rebel. Yeah. They're so split. They should know, I mean, 100% where they are. Rebel's trying to actually frontline this, a huge Brum ultimate, and they didn't know about Castle from the bottom side. But where is the rest of the team? Facey finally gets here. 
as this is a very broken up fight. And take a look at the damage that the Rise is already doing. The Gangplank Gilema, he ran out of his oranges. He already took one bite. And now Andal's going to be the second one as well. KT, they look to be coming back in a big way. They will take this Lava Drake, the first one. And now Facey is 4-0, and zero, and his Seraphs is complete. We've got the Rage Knife getting a little bit angrier. Mm -hmm. OK, well, you're going to miss your charm. I'm not sure if they have enough damage to take out Facey. I mean, he is just sticking in this one. He has a massive shield. like. You missed everything on the R. You need to back away. And the rotation is coming in now from KT. That's going to be a free Wukong. That is just going to be handed over to uh, Hambach. They're not going to waste too much time trying to give that to a carry. And yeah, I mean, again, kind of clutching at straws. The rise is incredibly fed. He was a little bit out of position, but he's so strong. Like, you don't have the damage to burst him at this point in time. Looks like it's going to be a Baron here. No jungler for the side of Kwangdong Freaks. And I mean, teleport's coming through, but this is, I think, even committing to stopping this is probably not the play. They have insane damage. I mean, that was tried to be stolen away from with the uh, GP ultimate, I Realm suppose. Warp, though, now, now they're trapped. Yeah, they don't have a GP ultimate either, as Elema is just going to be 100 to 0, essentially. Charm comes in from Cleaver, and the arrow will sail wide. They were great and they worked, but how do you close the game out as Castle? Well, Castle's pushing by himself in the bottom lane while his team is doing the dragon. Uh, he does have Gore Drinker, and he actually did bait them into an awkward spot now. Looks like KT might try to treat this one in a 4v5 situation. Tons of damage already coming out from Hambach, actually, and Hype is actually beginning to do some damage, kiting everybody out, picks up a couple of kills. Feisty has Realm Warp now. And Feisty is just a monster. Like, this guy is a machine gun that's got a rocket launcher on top of it, and he is flashing in and doing insane stuff. Bull is left alone, and they're actually gonna give that kill over to Hambach. Interesting choice. KT have fully taken over this game. I have enough damage with these the Rod of Ages alone. Oh, God. <laughs> He's so dead, oh my God. This is a Ari, by the way, but it doesn't matter. Hype, man, this guy has really turned it around. Like, he, he got caught that one time without a support. The Braum roamed mid, got Feisty ahead. It was looking dire, but he has hit like almost every single Ash Arrow, if not more than double when we get to that post-game screen. We'll see, Hype's catching up. Okay, that Arrow, we can shelve that one. I don't want to see that again. Let's not play the replay, but it doesn't matter because Ilma's wildly out of position himself now. Looking at things, not entirely sure myself. Doesn't really seem to make sense, but KT are going to look for this Baron again. Kwangdom Freaks here trying to group up to contest, but they have no great tools. And they there's no there's no side lane, there's no cross yeah. map. You're doomed! And they You're don't just have, doomed! They don't have a lot of good targets either. It's like, okay, who are we going to attack here? Look at the damage that Bull is doing to Feisty. It's not okay, a lot. Okay, okay, that hook was pretty huge as KT are pretty out of position for this one, kind of splitting their focus. And now there is an opportunity for Kwangdong. Fantastic kick from Hambach, though. He puts an end to that pike, and now Hambach is going in there. Maybe a little bit over uh, aggressive as he is going into four people alone, and he is going to be taken out. So not quite sure about that one, Hambach. It was a very nice kick. But after that, now it's just Bull who is frontlining and the challenger's play That's my challenger's continues right to deliver. <laughs> oh, man. Is this just going to be an ace? I mean, it's only there hype is... that survives. Not having enough damage to take down the Baron in time. A very split fight where the turn was not on time. And now it's anybody's game. OK, we do have the third Lava Drake going to the hands of KT. And this one is all over the place. Feisty did a ton of damage, but he gets low once again. As in goes Hambach, a fantastic kick into that back line. Hype doing so much damage. Yeah, take a look at Bull, though. He's also full health. But unfortunately now for him, he has lost his entire front line. And he is just going to be dunked on by this Aatrox. So this time around, Kwangdong, they thought they had an angle but it ended up being a full Ooh. turn of a 5v5. Cleaver does have cleanse because he does have uh, the <laughs> spell book and a very nice fight this time from the side yeah. of KT. It was no fall up. I just thought it was pretty nasty arrow right there after we, we've seen some, some near hits uh, <laughs> this series. But that one was, you know, it was a near miss, but it actually goes ahead and hits. I just want to give him the little hype shout out. So we, we face devoters. I'm a feisty voter. I'm a feisty Absolutely. voter. Absolutely. Yeah. No. I, I think that there this time there is an argument for Rebel. Game two, I didn't really see the arguments as, okay, Pike trying to do Pike things, gets in there. 
Uh, just trying to delay this one from going down, but it doesn't seem too likely. Basically pretty low, though, but he's able to kite down cards. That is going to be the end of this one. KT, they turn it back. The reverse sweep actually does happen, even though Kwangdong ended up stomping them in game number one. Did not matter. KT able to take the best of three. Overextended quite a bit. Um, I mean, actually, you know, I joked that he was probably going to double Ash's damage. By the end of that, Hype was doing a ton yeah. of damage in those last few fights and only ends up being 5k behind the rise. What I mean, this, this POG could go, this POG <laughs> could Hype literally wins? go to anyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe not Hambach, but like he had some good moments, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. But then he, he did almost throw them the game. But. Other than that, like, he was really good. I I, I do agree with you. Hey, hey, that's my boy, Facey. Facey. Got it this yeah. time. <laughs> All right. Hey. Shout out to Rebel. Yeah. You know? Shout out to Castle, too. I think Castle had some some sure. decisions that I think looked silly from, like, a layman's perspective. But the way he... Some of his deaths were actually in order to get control somewhere on the map. And sometimes his... Sacrifice led to a huge success in the team fight sure. where Feisty himself comes and capitalizes with a Realm Warp. So good Aatrox play.